It's your brother Van Silk. Not in my house. Yes. Not in my house. Check me out on YouTube. Hit the notification button, please. It'll be a blessing. Taking all this water. Now, let's talk about what Melly Bell was talking about. Billboard. But you know what? It ain't only about Billboard. It's about everybody else who's trying to get clicks, get the topics going, which is a clickbait. I call it a culture vulture. I call you a pirate. You know who you are. I'm not going to call names. But Mel had a great point. Some of y'all might call him a hater. His conversations, you can go to his YouTube channel, Melly Mel's Hip Hop Corner. Doing pretty well to have two videos up. And everybody else is getting clicks and getting getting likes and views because of his topic. And that's going to be now minimized to his page. But what I want to say is, and I've been in hip hop 46 years. There's no way in hell one person, especially out of a magazine or a publication, which at one point Billboard was respected as the Bible. That was before internet because you had to do real work, but you were still doing, people were still doing backdoor shit to get their record charted. Another topic. But like most say, he want to know who that one person or the persons that come up with the top 50 list. And you know what's so funny? He ain't the only person that questioned how can this person be about that person? How can Nicki Minaj be ahead of Rakim? And, and here's the problem, and I'm going to give you the answer to the problem. First of all, all you publications, like I told Mel, they're irrelevant. They got nothing to do with hip-hop. Hip-hop is a culture in the first 25 years, 73 to 98 is the most important years in hip hop. Everything else is rap records. I've been rap records for the last 25 years. Let's be honest. These young kids don't give a rat ass about the 50th anniversary. But I always say, you want to talk about top 15, top 10 rappers, you got to break it down into the generations because you got kids today that don't know nothing about a Grandmaster Kaz or Cool Mo D or or, or Melly Mel, or or Shout Rock, or or MC Glow from Soul Sonic, or, you know, they don't know. And it ain't fair to have somebody put together a top 50 of all time, or whatever the list is. I don't pay no attention. I don't pay no attention because it's irrelevant. When I see those lists, and they are, they're just trying to combine 50 years into 10 MCs or whatever. It's irrelevant. Doesn't mean anything. It's just a topic that people need to gravitate to for clicks and views. That's it. Because they don't have nobody on their staff that could give you it first generation, second generation, and third generation. They don't. Because they're not even old enough. I agree with Mel 100%. On a lot of things he say. But y'all have this thing that goes on to think people are always being a hater. Why can't you have a true conversation? Why just can't you have a conversation? Like, listen, this is this and this is that. But y'all out here who want to rewrite the history. Some of y'all don't know the history. Y'all don't employ or bring in anybody who's was who was there to say, well, this is the person that we can rely on that was there because that's their expertise. But y'all just have somebody call somebody up and just get notes and quotes and then y'all get bullshit and, and wrong information, then it's printed. If I were to do a top 10, do the first generation, the top 15 groups before records that helped cultivate the culture from 73 to 83. The ones that I know that before it, it went to all these other record labels, 
Talk about when we was grinding in the mud, when we was doing it for real. Then I do 83 to 93. If I want to do 73 to 83 top 20 DJs, I'll give it to you. If I want to do the top uh, 10 soloist group, top 10 soloists, I'll give it to you in duels and the top 10 females doing that ever. That's how you articulate this. But you're going to sit up here and ask somebody 30 years old and they, they leave out the most important MCs and people who help this culture because this is what y'all do. You know what you're doing. It's rap exploitation. These kids today ain't nothing knocking. They're not MCs. They're not rappers. They're just TikTokers. They're just somebody who would click some views. So y'all just took away and y'all deliberately, the real artists, the real MCs, See, y'all all sat behind somewhere in Palm Springs and y'all said, we got to get rid of these so we can just bring a lower level of intelligence. This is what y'all did. I know what you did. Y'all don't care about the culture. The fuck? Y'all really think y'all really? Y'all have no clue about the culture. You don't care about the culture. Ain't none of y'all thinking about the 48th or 49th anniversary. Everybody's the 50th anniversary because y'all vulture. You're a pirate. Don't steal content. You're a pirate. Culture vulture. Don't ain't got to never use me for nothing. Because you can't derive me of what I've done and what my friends done coming up in hip hop. And people that have nothing to do with hip hop is the worst people to be around because it's, it's depressing. You got to build an environment in order to be prosperous. And you have to be in a prosperous environment in order to be prosperous in this business. So when shit like this come up, you can get it right. There is don't no top 50 rappers, according to Billboard. It's irrelevant. You are irrelevant when it comes to hip hop. All you publications out there, you're irrelevant. Because if you're going to do a top 10 list, you better give a reason why that person's in the top 10. Explain each artist why. But you're trying to silence us. That's why y'all don't talk to certain people. You're trying to silence the culture. Because we are the culture. You're not the culture. What I really want to say is fuck Billboard and fuck all you other people out here with these bullshit ass lists that, that y'all have inaccurately done. They're irrelevant. Break it down into decades. And if you can't do that, if you want to do the top 20 rappers from 2020 to 2013 to 2023 or 2003, 2013, go ahead. Be my guest. Rappers. Be my guest, because that's what y'all should be doing. Don't interwine your 25 years of what y'all got going on, which is not hip hop, with our first 25. Don't do that. That's an insult. So sick and tired of how y'all try to manipulate this industry and all y'all come in here to have no knowledge and y'all sit up here and y'all just bite everything and then you got everything fucked up. I ain't angry. I'm just looking at y'all how y'all just got shit fucked up and shit is wrong and it's wrong because y'all just want to dictate what you feel is important. And it's not. And excuse my language, but it is what it is. And all these lists is irrelevant. Get somebody that's been there. They say, get three or four people like, okay, you're from the first generation. Can you give us the top 10? In your time. And then go to the second. 83 to 93. That's how you play fair. And that's how you can accumulate. The top 50. Of all times. 
It ain't about record sales. Stop with all that. Sure, Brother Van Silk, not in my house. I got to go because this topic is just like not even worth discussing. But I support Melly Mel and I support anybody who feel like that list, because it was billboard, you was respected, it's, it's garbage. We had a hide all came about, so I would like to challenge this guy because uh, nobody knows who this person is. I mean, it could it could be a female, who knows? But nobody knows who this person is. So we're gonna call him, for the record, we're gonna call him Professor Hip Hop. So whoever Professor Hip Hop is to put together a list of, of the greatest of, of all time, 50 greatest of all time. And I have a saying that uh, uh, if you think it's 50 great rappers, chances are uh, you're not one of them. I want everybody that's listening to, to subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel. And, and, and follow it because see uh, this is not only more, more so uh, our thing than actually my thing because at the end of all this and, and leave it in the comment section leave me your top 10 because this list is kind of all over the place but then most of the time when people do a list it is kind of all over the place but uh, at least if, if 